Per Ericsson. So here we are in Sweden and we're on the way to Stockholm and we're on the way to meet with uh, Saori Ichihara at her restaurant uh, Ichi. As you can see, I'm driving an Audi A5 e-tron that runs on biogas. And as you all know, biogas is made from waste from restaurants and the food industry. Audi is focusing on sustainability and so are the top chefs in Sweden and in the rest of the world. Let's see if you can combine a taste of Sweden and how you can link that to a more sustainable and environmental consciousness. If you were to explain for somebody that's never been here about your style of cooking, mm. what would you say? It's a, a mixture of uh, my background. Like I came from Japan and uh, I have worked with uh, uh, some different uh, kind of cuisines. Uh, together with the uh, uh, Swedish kitchen. So uh, we cook uh, something we think is good and uh, it's tasty and we're trying to serve it in a casual atmosphere. Where do you find your produce and products to be able to create your wonderful dishes? For example, I was in uh, Gotland uh, where I really loved the atmosphere and I had some experience to work at the, a restaurant uh, which is called Gula Honan. And uh, I really got inspiration by all the vegetables uh, which is growing in there uh, by the chef's mom. So I've been there and then I picked up a lot of vegetables uh, with her myself and they uh, try to ferment a little bit, pickle a little bit uh, to uh, be able to use for our opening. What are you specific looking for to find that God produce? I love to use a lot of vegetables and uh, also meat, you know, uh, fish, everything, trying to uh, get find out uh, good stuff from uh, uh, Sweden and the Nordic countries, uh, I try to combine those things with the Japanese technique and sometimes Japanese uh, um, taste, like ingredients to taste. Uh, as you know, there is a, there's a big trend mm. uh, among uh, top restaurants uh, to use the concept no waste kitchen, that uh, they recycle everything. Yeah. What's your take on that? I really agree with the concept and uh, the, the, I still like remember when I started to work as a cook the first time in the kitchen and then uh, uh, you see how much food actually gets wasted um, among restaurants and our, in our kitchen also we try to use whole things from uh, everything. Uh, so we, for example, we have one serving uh, that we were serving since we opened. It's uh, like a, a tartlet, uh, which is filled with a vegetable cream. Right now it's a um, celeriac, uh, which we cook and make a puree on it. And then uh, we have some apple, which is pickled in a uh, Etika, uh, Swedish spirit, uh, uh, flavored with salvia that I picked in Gotland. Uh, we serve it, this tartlet, all, uh, with uh, bouillon, which we make from all the uh, skins and everything which coming from the celeriac. When we opened the restaurant, so it was the other vegetable, it was called labi actually. And uh, then we did the same thing, to, like uh, try to use uh, all the um, vegetable to make bread, and uh, all the ref leftovers coming from there, we try to uh, use a technique to take a dashi, Japanese bouillon, mm. and uh, make a really good bouillon on it. 
Do you think that the concept of a taste of Sweden, mm -hmm. is there such a thing? My first impression of uh, Swedish cuisine was uh, like uh, a lot of technique to use uh, fat, like uh, especially butter. Yeah, there is a lot of uh, milk products, uh, um, much more than uh, what uh, I saw and uh, I experienced in Japan. But uh, at the same time, I think uh, it's uh, really um, interesting techniques uh, and uh, thinking about using those uh, things. And that's for me something I very get the impression of the Swedish cuisine. The restaurant Ichi is a fairly new experience. Yeah. Uh, if you look ahead two years, where will you be then? I think we're gonna uh, keep doing our style. Um, but I think uh, then I get, after two years, I'm gonna get a lot of more uh, inspiration and uh, uh, yeah, a lot of inspiration uh, from my colleagues, like our uh, and the owners who co owners there who opened this restaurant together. Like, uh, they have uh, a lot of uh, uh, knowledge about, uh, of course, uh, Swedish things uh, uh, more than I do. And uh, already right now, it's uh, a lot to learn for me. And uh, I get this uh, opportunity to um, express uh, what I want to cook. But uh, after two years, it's going to be even more. Uh, but everything uh, is going to make more sense with uh, all the uh, cultural things because I'm coming into more to Swedish culture. If you were to give an advice to a young person that wants to become a chef, what would you say? It's always, always, every day something to learn. And as much as you spend the time and uh, uh, try to um, make your efforts uh, and then you get uh, something back. And uh, I think it's a wonderful job. So just uh, yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs>